So tests of between subjects effects uh, are very useful but a word of caution that this test is uh, going to be represented in several tables below this and uh, so I would like to say that that this might be confusing to some people but it's actually the same data that the same output of, of the analysis that is presented again and again uh, as we see stream has an impact on three on all those three variables here the dependent variables with different effect sizes which is represented by partial eta squares for example for grammar score we can say that 30 33.1% of the variance in the grammar score is ex is explained by or is due to the stream of the students and uh, vocab the vocabulary score uh, the effect of stream on vocabulary score is 24.8% and for the last one comprehension score is 21.7% and they are statistically significant now we need to do something like a postdoc analysis and actually this table is very helpful in uh, explaining uh, where those differences that we observed are uh, so on this part we see uh, the levels and the comparisons and on this part we see the dependent variables for the grammar score the comparison between level one and three is statistically significant and so is for uh, the dependent variable vocabulary score and also comprehension score. The differences between levels 2 and 3 also reach a significance level of less than 0 0.001 and, and even much smaller than that for uh, all the three uh, dependent variables as you see by the significant differences here. So th this ch uh, table or chart basically shows us almost everything that we need to, we need to know about where the dis those differences are and how they compare across different levels. Now, like I said, you will see the same kind of output quite a few times, and that's basically because I have chosen those outputs to be outputted several times. For example, the multivariate test results are the same as those test results that I showed earlier uh, with PLI's trace indicating that uh, 20 point nine percent of the variance in the composite variable is explained by a stream and in the same way Wilkes uh, lambda ex um, predicts that uh, twenty three point four percent of the variance in the composite variable is explained by stream and so on so univariate test results are similar to actually the same as what I presented above these are like ANOVA tests and while they tell us that there is a significant impact from stream on grammar score they don't really specify where that difference is but I have already shown you where the difference is in the previous table right uh, this table this is called contrast results K matrix which is pretty useful um, and here you see uh, the descriptive statistics of the grand mean descriptive statistics of uh, the test scores across different streams and most importantly the pairwise comparisons pairwise comparisons are useful because for grammar score uh, in normal technical uh, the comparison to normal technical versus normal academic there is a significant difference actually if you look at these p-values all the way down uh, they are very very significant and you can find out how small that p-value is by right clicking on the cell properties option going to format value and increasing this decimals to maybe 10 and if you go back it's still you can still not see the last decimals uh, you know in of this p-value indicating this much closer to zero so th these differences are seriously significant uh, indicating that there is a significant difference across the three groups and across all all of those dependent variables so multivariate test has been outputted again in post hoc test and the same output really and this is the table uh, this is the uh, graph the plot that I uh, had chosen in the previous video so you can see that the mean scores uh, increase in a linear fashion for almost in a linear fashion in this one 
for the two of them and actually for the three of the dependent variables. So in conclusion, what we need to look at for a maneuver analysis is to look at the linearity, the linear relationship between the dependent variables and make sure that they are linear, linear, linearly related. Uh, you can look at my the first video of this uh, series. The second one is that there is no multicollinearity or high correlation between the dependent variables. The third one is that uh, there is no outlier and one way of looking into it is um, Halanubius distance which is done through regression analysis which I as I discussed in the first video. Next is to look at the multivariate normality and like I said SPSS does not give us an, an idea about multivariate normality. You need to uh, use a software package like Amos which uh, runs confirmatory fact analysis and structural equation modeling which I've discussed in another video I'll leave the link to that video around this video on, on top on the uh, right hand corner on the top and then uh, we need to check box a test of equality of covariances as I said if you have a larger sample size uh, like mine was uh, more than 1,800 uh, people or, or samples, it's a better idea to use a smaller p-value because uh, Box's test of equality of, of covariances is quite sensitive to the sample size. And then finally, the Levine's test of homogeneity of variances, which is also sensitive to uh, the sample size, and therefore it, it's advisable to use a smaller p-value of perhaps smaller than 0 0.001 or 0 0.01. Um, and for the output, look at the multivariate uh, multivariate tests, followed by the test of between subjects effects, and followed by uh, this contrast results. These three tables would be really just good enough for you to report your the results of your analysis. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I hope you liked the video. And if you liked it, uh, give it a like and have a good day.